Well, we've been blown away, too, by some of the images coming from Jupiter. NASA's Juno spacecraft has been flying right over that great red spot on Jupiter on Monday. And two days later, we get this never-before-seen look at Jupiter's 10,000-mile-wide anti-cyclone. This is a storm. This thing's been going for nearly 200 years, maybe longer, right, Mike? We really have no idea. We don't know. I mean, uh, back in the telescope era, people saw it, made sure. notes of it. Mm -hmm. But we don't know what's going on. And you see the pictures of Jupiter, and, and when you see this red spot, there's a lot of action going on there, right? And so scientists have been captivated by this, but the questions they have uh, that maybe we're starting to get some clues as to what's going on thanks to this Juno spacecraft. Rachel, I mean, I know why I'm interested in something like this. You're not really a scientist. Why, why do you think? I mean, I just think it's cool pictures just to see um, the storms, what look like within the storms. And I'm really interested in six years ago, they launched this thing seven years ago. And to hit its mark with all the physics that are involved, mm. it's crazy. We, uh, well, some of us watching grew up in the, in the space race era where mm -hmm. there was, you know, a, a rocket launch or a space shuttle launch all the time. We don't really do that that much anymore. So it is kind of cool to have something like this, if for no other reason to pique the interest of kids who might become the next uh, great no scientist. No doubt, right? And the fact is, you, just to take a minute and think, this spacecraft flew by there on Monday. Mm -hmm. And Wednesday afternoon, we're looking at the first pictures you know they're not all processed yeah. they haven't matched up these pictures with all the data that all the instruments are gathering on the spacecraft yet and that'll be interesting Mike because this storm is so fascinating that to think of a storm like I mean how long do tornadoes last typically seconds seconds to, to minutes, minutes. Yep. Mm -hmm. this has been going for hundreds of years we don't know how deep it is. We don't know why it's red. We don't know what's fueling it exactly. And it's shrinking a little bit, too. It has been shrinking, yeah, yeah and they don't know why that's been happening. I mean, the easiest thing to say is, well, this looks like a, a, a hurricane on Earth, and maybe that's what's driving it. But maybe that's is, it. Yeah. We don't know. Uh, and so hopefully this flyby and the future flybys, which will be happening over the next several months, uh, as this spacecraft gets ready to plunge in the death spiral into the uh, planet, Hopefully we'll get more. Because that's what that's how this spacecraft will come to an end. Yeah, they're purposely di <laughs> dive bombing the planet. And they call it an anti-cyclone because it's going backwards. Of it's what? spinning. So cyclones spin well in the northern hemisphere. Yeah. Spin clockwise. Okay. This one is must be spinning counterclockwise. Okay. I've just never heard it referred to as an anti-cyclone in the southern hemisphere. Uh, it's still called a cyclone in the southern hemisphere. Because in the south, this it's still it's supposed to be cyclonic. Yeah, exactly. It it gets a little confusing. It's a little okay. weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I honestly am not sure why they're not calling this a cyclone instead of an anti-cyclone. Because okay. it should really, if it's a storm, it should be right. called a cyclone no matter what direction it's yeah. spinning. But we'll, we'll see. That's another, yet another thing to... That's right. Let's get some answers from, from Juno on <laughs> this right. one.